so much information coming out on the markets today. So many earnings reports. I thought we'd do a quick fire look at two of the big players uh, in the news this morning, Woolworths and Domino's, and get the guy's view on it. First cab off, Woolworths. Um, cutting its interim dividend after what it described as one of the most challenging halves it has ever experienced. Profit slipped more than 20%, though it was higher than the market expected, uh, with inflationary pressures and rising COVID cost of blame. Uh, look at a uh, company looking confident of an improvement in for, uh, financial performance with the caveat COVID doesn't again throw a spanner in the works. Of course, um, shares ticking up into the green today, up 2% on that result. Follows Coles just a couple of days ago. Uh, Henry Jennings, what do you think of the Woolworths result and, and the stock price? Uh, thanks, Gosh. I mean, it's a bit, of a, a bit of a dirty result in some respects because uh, it no longer has the Endeavour Group in it. Uh, of course, that was spun out. So that does make it a little bit hard to compare. But it does seem to be winning the battle at the moment with Coles, which is good. And I think the other thing that it's got going for it is that our habits for shopping have changed during the uh, pandemic lockdowns in terms of, you know, we've got that online shopping list now that they deliver and that big threat from Aldi, which we've seen in recent mm. years, doesn't seem to be quite such a big threat. We've seen, I don't think, think I've ever seen an Aldi van delivering uh, to uh, the groceries, at least. You can buy a chainsaw or maybe a 3D printer on Aldi and they'll deliver that, but I'm not sure they'll deliver a steak. Mm. So I, I think this was a pretty solid result and it's uh, a little bit cloudy because of that Endeavour thing. That's primarily the reason why they cut that dividend uh, to reflect that, but uh, and there was also a massive profit to reflect the fact that they demerged uh, that business as well. So uh, for me, doing well, doing better than Coles at the moment. They two vie, you know, it's kind of a two horse race, neck and neck, and one gets in front of the other. But uh, this looks like a pretty solid result, and barring any disasters, of course, uh, that uh, always in the background. But uh, I think this one is definitely a hold, and the reaction today is probably good. And we probably see some upgrades mm. as well. So maybe okay. it's more a buy than a hold. Okay. Um, Andrew? Yeah, look, Koshi, I think it's actually a buy. I, I agree with, with Henry unusually. Uh, it was, a, uh, it was a, uh, a messy result and certainly trying to strip out Endeavour. I'm really looking forward to talking about Endeavour shortly. But uh, look, Big W continues to disappoint, albeit it's now profitable, which is, uh, um, has been a challenge for that business. And the other thing uh, they flagged was COVID costs continue to be an issue. COVID costs were around 0.2 of a percent of sales for the uh, second half of last year, now looking at being 0.5%, which, you know, 0.5%. But it, it, basing off that 0.2, it just shows that even though hopefully we're moving into endemic, that's uh, COVID still there and the impact of that still going to impact. The other thing they flag more broadly was inflation or food pricing. They're seeing about a 2 to 3% increase in food pricing, which is obviously a concern from a broader inflation perspective. But Woolies Koshi is a buy. Okay. All right. Prefer it over Coles. Um, let's take a look at Domino's, though. Um, it out today. It was such a darling of, uh, of the COVID period. Profit down 7%, uh, $89 million, despite a 10% increase to revenue. Company saying short-term sales growth, challenging, but has reiterated its three to five year outlook for store growth of 9%. Uh, been a positive start to the second half with the network sales up uh, 6%. Uh, interim dividend of 88 cents. Shares thumped. Um, down 15%, it uh, <coughs> opened down 15%, it has stayed there. Um, Andrew, uh, Domino's result, uh, well below that 100 buck level now. Oh, it's, a, it's a trading company. I, uh, I lament the days of MIM going, you could buy MIM at 82 cents and sell it at $1.50. Perhaps we found the new 2022 version of MIM uh, Domino's. It does move around a lot. Uh, look, I, keep, I think the key issue is a lot of these growth companies are priced for, for, for perfection. And, uh, and when they're not perfect, then uh, the big stick is well and truly out. And as you said, a 15% move. I mean, we've seen lots of those styles of moves the last few days. Tyro down 27% immediately, to mind. The growth forecast is probably a little bit concerning as well. 
uh, that the market, I think, is sort of looking for closer to 8%. And I think at the moment they're guarding the market sort of into the sixes. So to Henry's point around upgrades for Woolies, you will be seeing downgrades for uh, Dominoes. So people trying to, I guess, uh, preempt those downgrades that are coming. So mm. I would think at best Dominoes is a hold. Okay. All right. Henry, what do you think of Dominoes? Uh, it's fallen a huge way, I've got to say. This is this is a stock that the it's a been a massive fall. I mean, talk about stuff crust. Um, I've, I've got to say, I watched uh, Don on uh, one interview this morning, and as usual, very polished performer, talking about the inflationary pressures that Domino's have in the system, and that's certainly one of the reasons why we've seen this stock come off. But what they are doing is they're increasing the toppings, they're increasing the premium. Uh, kind of offerings they have and then offering a premium price for those offerings as well so rather than buying the same old pizza your Hawaiian mm. with your pineapple on that is that is an abomination uh, but <laughs> apart from that but um, those sort of regular pieces they're not going to be putting up the prices of those they're going to give you something for something so they will be putting up prices but they are moving you know to stuffed crust to more toppings to more premium right. content on their pizzas so i think that's a good thing um I, I just find it incredible this stock has dropped from sort of 160 bucks to 85 bucks uh mm. recently uh have people stopped eating pizza i mean really and truly i mean i know that we've all rushed out into the wide world uh after the pandemic and uh we've stopped ordering in but uh, you know footy season's coming etc i don't mind this one at some stage and i think that stage is getting close I have to say, after the big four, what I was also intrigued about was uh, I looked at the short position in Domino's, which used to be massive and probably accounts for the reason why that stock price went from 90 bucks to 160 bucks as all those shorts covered. Uh, and now, of course, uh, they've covered. There's only 1.7 percent of the company actually shorted where it was around 10, 11, 12 percent mm. at one stage. So uh, the, the bearish bets aren't there at the moment, which probably explains why it's been sagging. Uh, there's also competition from Pizza Hut coming. The, uh, the gentleman behind Pizza Hut is promising to open 500 stores or to, to put their numbers up to 500 stores and really bring it to, uh, to Domino's. I think they've got around 7 percent of the market, Pizza Hut. Um, so it, it's still not huge. They're looking to build that up to 9%. Uh, but uh, reality is Domino still dominates. Mm. And you know, the inflationary pressures are there. We've seen that with Woolies results. Yeah. But equally, they do talk about delivery. And I think this one's starting to look an attractive. This, for me, would be certainly a hold uh, and accumulate as well as we approach uh, the footy season to some extent. Okay. Okay. So you've... You've hedged your bets with both Woolies and Dominoes. Hold, buy, yeah, well, hold, I, buy. Right, well, I, I, I will be definitive. I'll be definitive on Woolies as a buy, and I will right. also. Uh, I think Dominoes may be uh, come a little bit of a downgrade after the results with brokers getting a little bit nasty. Uh, but after that washes through, then it is a buy. Okay. All right. 